Comrades, sisters and brothers, ladies and gentlemen, coming from all over the UK, being with us today shoulder to shoulder in conveying the message of Iranian people for a regime change. <laughs> of Iranian people under constant repression. Over 120,000 have been massacred, murdered, and slaughtered, including the massacre of 1988, of 30,000 political prisoners by this religious dictatorship ruling Iran. We are here today to convey the main aspiration of Iranian people, demanding justice, demanding freedom, demanding a regime change demanding and supporting Madame Rajabi for freedom! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for decades, in all the ups and downs, you have been with our movement. For decades, the Iranian resistance was a prime victim of this religious fundamentalist regime. We kept saying to the world community that decisiveness is the only solution dealing with this regime. Our movement paid a high price. 120,000 of its best well-educated men and women for the cause of supporting and defending freedom of expression, freedom of association, freedom of religion, equal rights for women, abolishment of torture, executions in Iran. Madame Rajavi is the beacon of hope. She is the rightful leader with Masood Rajavi that led our movement for three decades for democracy. We stood firm in front of repression, in front of demonizing campaign, terror campaign of this religious dictatorship. They started first in Iran, then they expanded it in the Middle East, in Iraq, in Yemen, in Syria, in Lebanon, in Palestine, in Afghanistan, enough is enough! <laughs> the mullahs must go! The mullahs must go! They don't represent the Iranian people and the major demands for freedom and democracy, for coexistence, for peace, for development, for progress. What do we want? It's freedom now! It's a change of regime now! <laughs> the overthrow of this regime is the job of Iranian people, led by its rightful resistance, the National Council of Resistance, and its main backbone force, the Mojahedin Movement and the PMOI. <laughs> terror attempts of the regime, the recent explosions of the oil tankers in many different countries in the Persian Gulf, in the, in the Sea of Oman, in the Sea of Emirates, hijacking the UK oil ship. These are all indication that the world community must be united with the Iranian people and the resistance for a firm policy, for a true fundamental change within Iran. As late Lord Corbett used to say, Iran will be free, Iran will be free, Iran will be free, Iran will be free.